All right, guys, these joints have finally released. We have the Air Jordan 1 Women's Exclusive Denims. Uh, dropped today, like I said, and I don't know where the energy is with these right here. I told y'all that I wasn't too sure if I was gonna, you know what I'm saying, keep these or not. And I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about them in today's video. Uh, so let's get right into it. What's going on, YouTube, man? Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. As always, greatly appreciated when you guys tap into the latest video that I do drop on the channel. Real quick, before we get too far into this one, please, I need everybody's help. I need y'all to go tap into the Twitch. I just started a new Twitch. I, I lost my old account. Uh, we're not gonna get into all that, but make sure you guys go tap into the Twitch, man. I'll be streaming every single night. Uh, I'm gonna link it down below. All you do is click that link, head over to Twitch, and give your boy a follow. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. And also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Like I said, you don't wanna miss out on any content that we drop here, along with the streams that we about to start doing on Twitch every single night. I need everybody right now to leave a huge like on today's video that helps the channel and it puts us in the algorithm. And I don't see a lot of people talking about these Air Jordan 1 women's denim, so we gotta talk about it in today's video, man. All right, guys, here we have them. The Air Jordan 1 Women's Exclusive. These right here did not get a lot of buzz. When I did the unboxing, a lot of people were surprised I actually did pick these up. It was strictly for you guys. It was strictly for me to get this early look, see how you guys were feeling about them. And that video did pretty well. I got a lot of comments on that one. And a lot of people saying, yo, just keep them for the ladies. People saying we didn't need these. People saying Jordan just coming out with just anything. And now that we have them in hand, the release date finally came. I wanna know how you guys energy switched switched up you know what i'm saying do you keep that same energy do you like them now uh these surprisingly did sell out on the nike stingers at which like i was surprised i said yo ain't no way they sold out i think some of the smaller sizes are sitting right now on nike stingers app but on like jd sports and finish line i believe did have them they are some sizes sitting right now but here you have them let me know down below in the comment section man how you feeling about them was this a must cop was this like one of those trash releases where you like Jordan Brand, why you come out with it. I know it's a lot of other sneakers coming out this year or this month in general. We got the Air Jordan 1 uh, Yellow Toes or Taxis coming out. Have them right behind me. Let me grab them real quick. We have these coming out September the 24th. And I know this is like on people's, you know, saying top priority for the year. Uh, September 24th, these joints will be releasing. But we're not talking about these. I know y'all want to get to these, but they ain't out yet. We on these Air Jordan 1 denims. I'm definitely gonna hit you guys with a lot of B-roll. I did not do a review when we first unboxed this pair. So kinda want to dive into it. It's a very unique, you know what I'm saying, color. It's a very unique sneaker. Whenever you get denim on any pair of sneakers, I feel like it's pretty crazy. When they did the whole Air Jordan 4 Levi pack, I thought that was the, the best thing ever. The best thing since sliced bread. And uh, now that we got them, that denim effect on the Air Jordan 1, I thought it was, it, was, it was all right, you know what I'm saying? But now to have them in hand, I'm like, did I really need these? Do I really like them? Am I gonna even wear these? And I don't think I am. I honestly don't think I am. And I know a lot of people are already bringing up the earring on the laces right here. That's not throwing me off, because you can easily take this off and still rock them like a normal Air Jordan 1. It's just, uh, I don't know what it is. It's just something about this pair that makes me not want to wear it. I think it's the whole denim effect. Like, I feel like I always wear jeans or you know stuff like that. So when I do wear it with these, Something ain't gonna go right. That's just in my opinion, man. So you got that denim effect going around the entire sneaker, as you guys can see. You gotta have this like pop out Air Jordan Wings logo up there, as you guys can see. And then going around the entire sneaker, you have this stressed denim effect around the whole entire uh, woman's exclusive Air Jordan 1. The leather quality isn't bad at all. I know a lot of people was talking about the leather quality. If you actually get these in hand, the leather quality is way better. Like the pictures don't do some shoes justice. I think for like on the pictures that they dropped on Nike today, the leather looked flat and like it has no tumble leather to it. But if you guys know, you should know that they always giving the women's exclusive Air Jordan 1s or any Air Jordan in general, they make sure the quality is top notch and they did the same thing with these. So leather quality is pretty buttery. You guys wanna see that in the B-roll that I show you guys. Something else crazy with these, you get a pair of red laces. I would love to see how somebody styles it with the red laces, but for me, it would have to be strictly white. Like I said, I would take these little earrings out, you got them on both sneakers. So right here, you have the Jumpman on the laces and you have Jordan uh, spelled out right there on that earring as well. So I thought that was, you know, unique. I know some women out there is gonna rock it. I don't see myself rocking it like that, but like if I did wear these, I would take the earrings out, keep the white laces in there, and I think that'd be a go. And the entire tongue on these Air Jordan ones has the same denim effect as you guys can see. You have like a UNC uh, University Blue Nike Air logo on the top of the tongue. And you get that same uh, University Blue hit on the outsoles of these right here, as you guys can see. I feel like these look so similar to a pair of the UNC's that we did get last year, the University Blue or the Powder Blues. 
either one kind of gives you like a little slight look at it. You'd be like, oh yeah, is these the UNC's or is these the, uh, you know, powder blue joints? And they're not. They're all over distressed denim going around this entire sneaker. I think even when I did the unboxing for these joints right here, I said, I don't know what inspired me to do it. Maybe it is collaborated with somebody. I'm not too sure. Uh, but these right here definitely went under a lot of people's radars. I don't know if, I don't know if nobody even liked these. Like, I'm just being honest. For me, I won't keep these in the collection. That's why you guys not see me doing on feet. If you see me doing on feet or any Jordan, I'm nine times out of 10 gonna keep them, you know what I'm saying? But these right here, I was like, yo, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear these a day in my life. Another cool feature you get with these Air Jordan ones right here is the Nike Air hang tag. As you guys can see, you have Nike Air uh, on that pop out kind of effect on this hang tag. And it is red, just like the extra laces you do get with these joints as well. See, so yeah, I want you guys to let me know how you feel about the Air Jordan one denims. Are you keeping them? Did you cop them? Did you pass? Are they trash? I need to know all that down below in the comment section right now. Cause I'm very interested in seeing like, you know, how people are feeling. I think I unboxed these like a month and a half ago. Now it's time for the actual release. I need to see how the Vintage Squad is feeling about these right here. Like I said, this isn't a terrible sneaker. is isn't a trash sneaker. It is something I do not see myself wearing. Maybe a filler sneaker if you want to call it that. Uh, but like I said, strictly, I gave you guys this early unboxing just for you guys. Now that we finally have the release date coming, I said, yo, I, I still have these. I forgot I still had them. I said, y'all might as well get up on here. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up with you guys, give you some B-roll, quick little review over it, and kind of get you guys updated opinion on these Air Jordan 1 denims right here. I appreciate everybody for tuning in to yet another video. Like I said, man, drop all your comments concerns, questions about the Air Jordan 1 denims down below in the comment section. And before you leave, man, make sure you go tap into the Twitch. We will be streaming tonight. Uh, so make sure you do not miss out by hitting that link down below. Take you straight over to Twitch. You can hit me with a follow and that'll be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, you have not subscribed to this channel yet, man. You're missing out. A lot of content coming very soon. Clothing, sneakers, all that good stuff I got you on the channel. So subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave a huge like before you tap out of this video, man. It will really help the channel out. And with all that being said, man, I appreciate everybody for tapping in. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.